Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants. I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, man. You guys know what to do on this channel. We must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives, stop them from rewriting history, and we must hold these guys to the standard, hold them accountable. And in this video, man, I'm going to talk to my man, Scap Attack. This video is to my man, Scap Attack. He may not see this video. He probably don't even know my channel. It don't matter. I'm subscribed to Scap Attack. I've been a fan of the channel, man. They do some good work over there, man. I appreciate the guy's videos, man. It's got some good humor in there. But I saw his video he did this morning about Nikola Jokic, and he's blaming the teammates. Scap Attack, we can't do this, man. We can't do that. Nicole Jokic is a three-time MVP. This man must take responsibility. He must take ownership. He's the leader. We can't be blaming Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray. Come on, man. We're going to talk about this video because he's trying to blame everybody else, saying that they let Nicole Jokic down. We're going to talk about this video, man, because I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, guys. And I want to thank you guys, man, everyone across the world. Everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly, truly humbled by all the support, man. It means a lot. Thank you, guys. I am truly, truly humbled, man, for real. You guys really, man, say some nice things, and I, and I appreciate it, guys, a lot. Thank you. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, this video is a response to Scap Attack and the video he did this morning, essentially blaming Nicole Jokic's teammates. Now, listen, this is not me attacking Scap Attack or, you know, me trying to start something with this dude. I, I like this guy's channel. I'm subscribed to Scap Attack's channel. And I don't know if it's one guy who does his channel or if it's a group of people. So this is nothing of a conscious, like a, me trying to go at this guy or call him out or anything like that. But I don't agree with the video. Because once again, we have to keep the same energy for everybody. Nicole Jokic is a three-time MVP. He ain't a one-time MVP. This man's a three-time MVP. Three times in four years. Scab Attack will tell you that he should have won three in a row. So obvious this man is the leader of the Denver Nuggets, right? There's no way around that. He's the best player in the NBA, they tell me. He's the best player on the Denver Nuggets. Absolutely. So I don't appreciate my man Scab Attack doing his video blaming Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray, for the Denver Nuggets loss last night, saying that no one showed up, right? And what do they do? They go to the box score, and they'll say, oh, this guy only scored nine points. No one scored in double figures other than Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. But once again, nobody else on that team is an MVP winner. It's Nikola Jokic that they keep pumping up as the greatest player in the NBA. The greatest player in the NBA, guys. I agree with that. And told me Nicole Jokic's best player in the league right now, I got no problem with that. But if that's the case, then you must take the ownership, the responsibility as the best player in the entire NBA. So you can't have Scap Attack saying, you know, where was Michael Porter Jr.? Who the hell's Michael Porter Jr.? Who gives a damn where Michael Porter Jr. was last night? Where was Nicole Jokic at the end of that game last night? Once again, blaming Jamal Murray for his lack of consistent play. I'm pretty sure it was Jamal Murray, though, that hit two game winners against the Lakers in a very close series, which should have gave Scab Attack and a lot of the Nicole Jokic fans some kind of insight as to what was going to happen going forward. They barely beat the Lakers. They win a bunch of close games. If you guys remember, the Lakers were up double digits in all those games, essentially. This is why we laughed at LeBron James and the Lakers, because they were not holding leads. LeBron James was not closing these games out. So we mocked him for that. But the Denver Nuggets weren't blowing them away every single game. And what were people saying? Oh, the Denver Nuggets are not even playing their best. And they were still able to beat the Lakers handedly. That's what I heard. They hadn't even played their best game yet. And they were able to beat the Lakers four games to one. So now, what do we have now? We have someone like Scab Attack making a video blaming everybody else. Blaming his teammates. So, Scab Attack, you kind of sound like a hypocrite right now because you're doing the LeBron James, right? LeBron James never has enough help, so they blame everyone under the sun, right? So now what are we saying? Now, Nicole Jokic doesn't have help? 
because he doesn't have a Hall of Fame teammate or an all-star, a guy who's been an all-star multiple season teammate? Jamal Murray's a very good player. Michael Porter Jr. is a solid player. Aaron Gordon is a solid player. The problem for the Denver Nuggets has not been the teammates of Nikola Jokic. It's what I was telling you guys earlier in my video. They were not battle-tested. They were fraudulent champions. Who did they beat? They beat who? Who did they beat last year for the title, guys? They beat the same Minnesota Timberwolves team that was younger, won 42 games, not impressed. Then they beat the Phoenix Suns, the joke Phoenix Suns, with soft baby Devin Booker and soft Kevin Durant. I'm supposed to be impressed with that win over them, those guys? It's a laughing stock. They're nobodies, the Phoenix Suns. They're a soft team, not impressed. And then who they beat in the finals, Western Conference? The Lakers, the clown Lakers that were only there because they were getting help from the referees. And they beat them four games of nothing. And in that series, Jamal Murray, who not, he's not good enough, averaged 31 points a game in that series, guys. 31 points a game against the Lakers last year in the Western Conference Finals. Nikola Jokic is the leader of the team. He needs to take the blame, the responsibility, not Michael Porter Jr. Once again, man, what are we doing here? We're blaming the role players on the lack of success for a team? But if the Denver Nuggets win, it's all Nikola Jokic. Nobody was talking about the Denver Nuggets team during the regular season. No one was talking about that. Everyone kept talking about Nikola Jokic was great. No, the Denver Nuggets are going to repeat. This is what everybody was saying. I even thought that they were going to repeat or at least make it back to the Western Conference Finals or the NBA Finals. But what happened this season, they were exposed as fraudulent and not really battle-tested champions. You name me the great teams or the good teams that they've beaten. You know, I saw somebody in the comment section of that Scab Attack video, one of his subscribers, I'm assuming, talking about, oh, you're going to have all these fake People talking about, oh, the Denver Nuggets never beat a 50-win team. The Denver Nuggets never beat a 50-win team. And this guy was trying to downplay that. That don't make any sense. We're not talking about the players. We're talking about the teams. What team did they beat? They ain't beat nobody. To win 50 games shows your quality team. Every team they beat last year, 42-win Minnesota Timberwolves, not impressed. 44-win or 47-win Phoenix Suns, not impressed. The Lakers, would they win 45 games, not impressed. And then they beat the eight seed Miami Heat that won 44 games in the finals. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. But you got people talking about, oh, they're going to say they never beat a 50-win team. The first time they played a team that was actually quality, they lost. They lost to the number one defensive team in the league. And this is the problem for Nicole Jokic and the reality for someone like a scab attack who seems to be a big Nicole Jokic supporter. He's been pumping him up as the best player in the league. He's been using him to clown LeBron James. All these things. Now you look like stupid. You're looking stupid right now, scab attack, because you're blaming the teammates for Nicole Jokic's 20 point choke job. The Denver Nuggets were up 20 plus points on their home court. And we're blaming Michael Porter Jr. We're blaming the other guys, Aaron Gordon, for not showing up. Really? Anthony Edwards didn't have a great game last night. Rudy Gobert, where was he at during the series? They set him on the bench. Didn't Rudy Gobert miss a game for his kid's birth or some nonsense? Anybody say anything about that? No. They won't talk about that. Didn't Jamal Murray hit two game winners against the Lakers in the previous series? He had two game winners, guys. Two. Not Nikola Jokic. Jamal Murray did that. That's how close those games were. But now he ain't got no help. We're going to go the LeBron James route for Nikola Jokic, who won three MVPs in four seasons, pumping him up as the best player in the league for the last several years. Now we're going to go that route. We're going to go the LeBron James route, Scap Attack. And we're going to say he ain't had no help. He had a 20-point lead. What do you mean he had no help? He had a 20-point lead at home. I want you guys to think about something. The Denver Nuggets lost three games on their home court in that series. Three games. 
They were a higher seed. They had home court advantage. They lost three of the seven games at home. That's on Nikola Jokic. That's on him as the leader. He got to take the responsibility. He's the one that got to galvanize these guys at halftime. Galvanize them after the third quarter when they struggled. Bring the team together. Not blame the teammates because they didn't score 30 points or they didn't put up 20. They were only in, in single digits. That happens sometimes. Sometimes the great players got to carry their team. And what will they say? Oh, Nicole Yoga scored 34 points, had 19 rebounds, and seven assists. They read over the stat line. You're doing the LeBron James. You're reading off the stats for a guy who lost. Meanwhile, all I hear of, about the, this era is that these are the most skilled players. But now Nicole Yoga's ain't got enough help. But these guys are so skilled. You're a three time MVP, so you must be held to that standard. How much help did I keep Olajuwon have? And he was going against great teams. Great teams. Not these bum 40-win teams with nobody on them. Facing Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler in the finals. Hakeem Olajuwon was going head-to-head -head with the New York Knicks. He was going head against Patrick Ewing. Oakley. He was going head-to-head -head with Shaquille O'Neal. Anthony Hardaway in 1995. Nicole Jokic going against Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. But they want to blame his teammates this season? It's not valid, man. We can't do this. You see what I'm saying, guys? This is what they're doing now. Everyone wants to blame the role players. No one ever wants to blame the stars. It's always the role players' fault. When I grew up watching the NBA, 80s and the 90s, the star players took the blame. Everyone blamed the main leader. They blamed Reggie Miller or Clyde Drexler, Isaiah Thomas, Michael Jordan, Magic, Bird. Those guys got the blame. Carl Malone, John Stockton, Charles Barkley, Chris Mullen, David Robinson. These guys took the blame. They're the ones who took the blame. They took the brunt of the responsibility, the ownership. They weren't blaming the side guys. They weren't blaming Kenny the Jet Smith or Vernon Maxwell. They weren't blaming Sean Elliott for why David Robinson could never win. They didn't blame Avery Johnson or Vinny Del Negro. Oh, these guys didn't show up for David Robinson. What else did he have? Huh? Did they blame Greg Ostertag as the reason that the Utah Jazz couldn't beat Michael Jordan's Bulls? No, it was on Carl Malone and John Stockton. They didn't get it done. It wasn't Chris Moore's fault or uh, Adam Keefe or Byron Russell. It wasn't their, their faults because they didn't score a certain amount of points. Once again, it's always about the stats. It's about the wins and losses, man. And the problem for Nicole Jokic, but Scabatak won't mention this, is that he don't play the defense like that. So you cannot impact the game in other areas. So if your team is not scoring, you can't keep the other team from scoring. They scored 90 points at Denver Nuggets. 90. They scored under 100 points in three of the games. Because Minnesota takes pride in defense. They play defense. The Nuggets were never a top 10 or a top 5 defensive team. A top 3 defense. Nicole Jokic ain't that dude. Is Jamal Murray known for his defense? How about Michael Porter Jr.? Aaron Gordon. Are any of these guys known for defense? It's the defense that wins championships. And the Cole Yogurts and the Nuggets got exposed. They were never battle tested, like I told you earlier. They were not. And when they went up against a stout defensive team, they got exposed. Nicole Yogurts ain't locking nobody up. He ain't playing that hard nosed D. They're not holding the Timberwolves to under 90 points. They had a 20 point lead. At home. 20 point lead at home. And they're going to sit there and blame Michael Porter Jr.? We're going to blame Jamal Murray and the other guys that didn't do enough. Aaron Gordon. They, they didn't help Nikola Jokic. This is what Scott was saying. They, they, they left him hanging out there. Come on, man. He's the best player. He got to take the responsibility. They didn't get it done. It's on him. End of story. We're not blaming role players here.
That's LeBron James syndrome. That's what LeBron James fans do. They always blame the teammates, the other guys. Right? This Kevin Durant don't get it done. They want to blame everybody else. They want to blame the coach. They want to blame Nurkic. They want to blame Grayson Allen. They always blame Russell Westbrook. Right? Kevin Durant don't take no damn blame. They don't put the blame on these guys. Look at you, look at Kyrie Irving. They're celebrating Kyrie Irving like he won an NBA title because he made it to the Western Conference Finals. How about all the other nonsense Kyrie Irving's done? He ain't getting help, no responsibility for the debacle in Boston, the debacle in Brooklyn. No, none of that. Dude was not a leader. But everyone wants to talk about Kyrie Irving. Oh, he's the most skilled player ever. Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving. It's a joke, man. This guy's never held responsible for anything he does. Nothing. How many games Kyrie Irving played this year? How many times Kyrie Irving played 82 games in a season? Huh? It's a joke, man. Scab attack. Come on, man. We got to be better than this. You can't go do a video and blame the Cole Yoke's teammates because they didn't score a certain amount of points when they were up 20. Once again, when the Cole Jokic ain't playing no defense like that, getting, getting his, his shot blocked at the end of the game by Nas Reed, he let Carl Anthony Towns guard you. Three-time MVP. Don't take no responsibility. We're going to blame the role, guys. Come on, Scab Attack. You sound crazy, man. Crazy. Once again, there's no disrespect to that channel or him. I'm subscribed to that channel, and I'm a fan of what they do. But if you're going to do those LeBron James videos, and you're going to talk about Nikola Jokic and do these comparisons, then you got to keep the same energy, man. You can't be flip-flopping. You can't blame the teammates. You can't blame the coach. 20-point lead at home. Imagine LeBron James and the Lakers in a game seven blowing a 20-point lead at home. What would we be saying about that? What would Scab Attack be saying about that? David Cole LeBron is a fraud. In this week's soft era, remember, Nicole Jokic himself said the NBA is soft and it's not as hard as, hard as the Euro League. But he couldn't make it stick around. Don't play no defense like that. Scab attack. Answer me this. Is Nikola Jokic winning three MVPs in the 90s? Is he? Is Nikola Jokic the greatest offensive center of all time? I hear people saying that. Don't look like it to me. He ain't go against no top shelf, top flight defense like that. The Minnesota Timbers are good. They're scrappy. But they ain't on the team like the 90s, man. They ain't the 90s Knicks. Ain't the Bulls of the 90s, that defense, the late 80s Pistons, or the Celtics. Come on, man. It's a joke. Absolute joke, man. The, the Denver Nuggets, Nicole Jokic, were never battle tested. They were fraudulent. They didn't beat anybody. And all season long, I didn't hear people saying the Denver Nuggets look weak. They're not going to make it. I kept seeing everyone say the Denver Nuggets are the favorite to win a championship. That's all I kept hearing. Now they get bounced and stick around. Now it's not Nicole Jokic's fault. He did all he could do. Let's blame everybody else for not averaging 30 points or 20 points a game. Tell Nicole Jokic to play some defense. Play both sides of the ball. Impact the game other ways. Where was he in the second half? They disappeared the Nuggets. Where was he in the fourth quarter? Can't blame the role plays when you're up 20 and you blow that lead. Everybody chucking up threes. Telling you guys right now, man, this era of NBA has been exposed, man. These guys are not more skilled. They're not bigger, stronger, faster. They're not. And Nicole Jokic needs to start taking some responsibility, man. See, no one wants to put no smoke on Nicole Jokic. Everyone wants to talk nice about this guy and stand up for him and all these things. You got to keep the same energy all across the board, man. Can't be blaming the role players for this. It's on him. He's the leader. Three-time MVP. Out there, chucking up threes, not playing no D. Once again, like I said, to me, Nicole Yoke is a great player in this era. He's the one who's talking trash about this era of NBA. He said this era of NBA is soft. It's easier than the Euro League. He wouldn't be saying that in the 80s and the 90s. He would not. And those are the facts. That's why his error is exposed. And that's why we have to expose him and hold him accountable. Hold him to that same standard that you're holding LeBron James to. How the hell are you going to blame Nikola Jokic's teammates? But always talk about LeBron James. Don't take no responsibility. Nikola Jokic ain't blaming nobody. So I don't know why you blaming people, Scap. Come on, man.
We must, we must stay consistent here. Once again, no one's even saying you have to blame Nikola Jokic. But if you're going to blame somebody, you got to blame him. When you do a video and you're blaming his teammates, it's not valid. No one's at blame. They got beat. But what I told you many times is valid. Nicole Jokic ain't winning three MVPs in the 90s. The Denver Nuggets were not battle-tested champions. They were not. They did not beat anybody worth note for that title run. So, yes, they got the championship. Good on them. The first championship in, in their franchise history. But once again, you didn't beat anybody. This is why it was hard for you to repeat. Your team was not great like that. They're not one of the top defensive teams. Defense wins championships. Defense does. Nicole Yokes don't play defense. The Denver Nuggets do not play defense like that. Not like Minnesota. I'm not blaming his teammates, man. That's insane to me. You guys know the deal on this channel, man. Once again, we have to keep the same energy for all the all-time greats. You're a three-time MVP. People keep telling me Nicole Yokes is a top 10 center all time now. So why are you not taking no blame? Where was he last night? 20-point lead at home. But they gonna blame Aaron Gordon? We're gonna blame Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> Come on, man. It's insane, guys. Insane. Only in this era do we constantly blame. Or do we constantly hear the word help? Oh, this guy needs more help. Never heard that when I was growing up. Never heard anybody say, oh, this guy needs more help. This guy needs more help. This guy needs more help. They need more help. David Robinson needed help. Hakeem Olajuwon needed help, didn't they? Everyone needs help in this era now. Back in them days, no one had help. The leader galvanized his teammates. Right? You try to make the players around you better, and you give the effort on both sides of the ball, and you compete. No pointing a finger to blame. This guy didn't have enough help. It's ridiculous, man. So once again, shout to Scap Attack. There's no disrespect to him and their channel over there. You know, their channel's way bigger than mine. They'll probably never even see this. But I, don't, I just found it really hypocritical for him to blame the teammates for what happened last night in Denver when he's always talking about LeBron James and how LeBron James don't ever take responsibility, how he blames everybody. So why are you blaming Nicole Yoga's teammates? It don't add up, man. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.